Yo, what's up? Do you like Trump? Hello. Yes, I do. I believe he's going down as the greatest president in American history. Why so? Well, I used to be a big Bernie supporter. You know, I was a Democrat. And then this whole, you know, March 2020 hit and I thought, uh oh, studying history, I learned that tyranny can creep in all over the world. Freedom is important. And I saw that possibly our freedom was under attack. So I needed some answers. I needed to discover who was the good guy. So I watched Trump live every day. I watched him live on those breath, uh, press briefings. Did you ever watch any of those? Oh, I watched some of them. I never watched them every day, though. It's fascinating to watch people talk live and then see how he would respond to questions and then see how the news afterwards would actually twist the words he was saying. I had no idea that they were doing that. So he answers questions very honestly, very directly, like a businessman. At the time, he was directing the people to not give in to fear, but to stay focused on solutions and staying positive and keeping our head on straight, while other leaders, um, doctors, were pushing fear. And I could see that there was a, an agenda underneath most of this to control the people of America and possibly the world, that if we did fall under this control and submit to it, that that could be very dangerous and that could definitely lead to a place where we were not free anymore, where we could possibly be under very bad tyrannical control. Okay, so I have some questions about this. So what type of tyrannical control can we go under and like what is leading us more towards this? And then secondly, you also stated that, um, what was it, the Trump, uh, sorry, I can't quite remember what you just said. Can you I'm hear me okay? Think. I'm kind of speaking on a speaker. Yeah, no, no, oh, honesty, honesty. So you said uh, Trump was honest because he's a businessman, but generally businessmen are generally going to do what's going to make them the most amount of money. So honesty is really like a, a irrespective to that. So generally when he's trying to like reduce the amount of fear that exists within the population, that's to make sure that the stock market stays high, to make sure that like people don't start like taking their uh, money okay. out of the stock market or take their money out of the economy. That was generally okay. to like move people's like sort of like thoughts away from doing stuff like that in particular and which could have caused okay. something like that to happen under his administration so that's really him just trying to like uh, make sure that it doesn't like look bad on him really oh okay i can address that 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 question and um so you think that trump was trying to make people not afraid so the stock markets would stay up so that his pockets could stay fat no, right. so that he would look better in relation to COVID because it was generally leading more towards like mm -hmm. the end of his presidency when COVID right. came around. So more or less, it was like a political move in order to like move people to stop worrying about things like COVID because that could like be detrimental to his presidency in general. But I think like right. his like not, not care for COVID actually led to him losing the election. And if he generally cared about COVID in general, uh, like we would have actually like more people would have voted for him. And he probably would have won given that context. Um, but I also want to talk about like this like fear that was being perpetuated. What do you mean by this fear being perpetuated by scientists? Because I would just generally say that would be like within the realms of reality. Obviously, there were some um, mm -hmm. people who were like going way overboard with it or trying to fear monger. But I don't think that was a majority of like um, medical professionals. I think that was more or less just like media institutions. Well, um, addressing Trump's uh, reputation, what I've discovered from being an entrepreneur myself, a small business owner, and so... I don't think Trump cares about his reputation. You have to understand the bigger picture here. And he understands that freedom is important in protecting the people of the world. So I used to think he was just this, this guy that wanted to be president so that he could say, hey, I'm the president. I'm just an egotistical guy. And I realized, no, this guy's actually been successful. He's done things the right way. He understands that if we're not free here, the world's not free. We don't have an economy. We don't have a future. He's got grandkids. He knows that we have to be free. Like, this is not just a benefit to him, it's a benefit to the world. I don't think he cares about his reputation. I think he signed up for the job knowing he was definitely going to be attacked, that his reputation was going to go down, and he said, I don't care. Like, honestly, if you came to me and said, hey, do you want to help the country remain free and they're going to attack your reputation? I would say, no problem, sign me up. Because I understand that um, us being free and not getting holocausted or anything worse like that, which is definitely, yes, exactly. This is where that heads to read a history book. Okay. okay and I don't okay, mean okay. that in can a bad you, way. Can you, can you, can you draw that correlation with me and how that this would lead to like, the Oh yeah. Holocaust? Oh and yeah. What, what, what in sure. particular, what is making us not free in so much that it would go that far? Well, it starts very small. I mean, ask a room of people to give up their rights and they're going to say, no way. I don't want to give you my rights. That's not yours to take. But if you small, if you start small and you trick them slowly and you get them to gain your trust, 
we're dealing with what some rights? very what, what are we what are we getting rid of here i'm asking you to be pretty specific with just this, freedom you made a pretty just, large claim yeah just basic freedom so if you're what a freedoms? bad guy just freedom in general to move about freely now if under tyrannical, in tyrannical societies, under dictatorships, if you say, hey, you're a bad guy, and you point to him, they'll say, hey, take that guy to jail. Like, it's bad. We're free here, and a lot of people don't understand that. So it, can, it has to start out small. These bad guys are very, very bad. And so you, they don't just go up to you and say, hey, give me your freedom, give me your rights, so that I can put you in jail whenever I want, so that I can take your money whenever I want, so that I can take your land whenever I want. That's not a good move. So instead, they say, hey, I'm a good guy. Maybe you guys should should um, you know ass- agree to sign up to um, being a little bit more monitored. It's for your safety. It's for your safety. Um, yeah, that's how you get tricked and played. And a lot of us over here, we're good people. We just go to work. We come home. What? I'm not dealing with tr- getting tricked. On I don't deal with that. Um, but we do have to remember this is how bad guys play. They have to trick you in order to get you to kind of give away your rights slowly until one day you realize, oh, wow, I don't have any protection. I can't walk around freely. If I point out a bad guy, they make up a reason and throw me into jail. And pretty soon you realize you're in a rehabilitation camp and that they are calling a rehabilitation camp, but they really just don't care about the people of the world and slowly want to get rid of us because guess what? We get in the way of their power, their money, they don't care about us. And that's what people need to realize is that this world is not fluffy. There's a lot of good people out there and there's a lot of people that have a lot of money and power to lose. And if the small guys get in their way, they would easily just push us off a cliff. They do not care about us. They care about their money, their wealth, their their family lines. They do not care about the little people. They don't. Who's they? They are very wealthy elite families remember back in history books when you say the royalty versus the peasants well some royalty were actually good leaders but not a lot and the bad leaders would what would they do off with your heads if you don't listen to me they used fear to control the masses and the same plan is working today although they can't use the off with your heads anymore but they can still use fear to control the masses to give away their rights so that they can do whatever they want with us because they're tyrannical uh, egotistical, self-interested people who, if we get in the way of their money, oil, people trafficking, drugs, they got a lot of money that they don't want us to know about. And if we discover that, point them out, they're going to be pissed off. They don't want us to get into the way of their, of their really evil system they have going on. How so, do you know sorry, they control everything? They have a lot of money. They are. They think they're above the law. Okay, we live by the law. We're nice people. No, no. I'm uh, asking you how you know this. I'm not asking you like about like uh, some other descriptive claim. I'm asking you about how you know this. Uh, watch a History Channel on uh, you know Queen Elizabeth and that big huge bank and vaults of like gold. Uh, obviously, they have a lot of money. It's not. It's not hard to to know that they have they have a lot of money or not when you have people like i'm, Bill I'm still Gates, trying to see who you're talking about like again you're talking about like people with lots of money yes but do they have influence enough to control every aspect of our reality not necessarily right so if we're looking at the type of corruption that exists within our current society that can generally be attributed to like corporate lobbying i wouldn't necessarily generalize it to all aspects of our current society thank you for the hand hearts and also say that there's some like shadowy government that's controlling every aspect of our reality so there seems to be like a lot of claims that you like need to substantiate here in order to determine that there is some small group of people that is controlling every aspect of our reality even if they have lots of money because generally i'd say there's lots of processes within the free market that will get rid of that type of um that type of control in general right yeah you think so right but they also take their money and they make sure that laws are passed in their favor they literally have through so what? much money they through what corporate lobbying correct yeah there's How money does corporate in politics lobbying work i don't know there's money in politics this and money issue. in politics can cause corruption that's yeah, yeah. So, so, so to you can some take degree, a big, to some degree, absolutely, can a, it can cause corruption, right? But we need to know how far this corruption is actually embedded within our society, instead of just generalizing it to every other aspect of like our institutions. So when we say like we're losing like um, like our rights, we're losing all of these different things, right? What, what rights are we losing? What freedoms are we losing, right? It's really relevant exactly. to the conversation because if we're talking about like things in relation to COVID for our safety, those are generally things like that we did for a short period of time, not things that were extended for a long period of time. Things Thank like the God. Patriot Act do 
last very, very longly. Whereas like things like this in particular were actually used for our safety. So we can genuinely see that these things are yeah. used for safety and they're not just right, used in order to take away from our individual rights. Right Again, where they other want things to. we can point to say that like they were and that like safety was the argument in order to like take away from people's rights or freedoms in general. But thank you for the hand arts. But within the within the situation of COVID, that was absolutely not the case. It was genuinely for our safety. So to like right where actually they, right where they want you. They got no. you right where they want you. Can you they prove you to me right that that would be you. the case? They, exactly. Just the message over and over again. It's for your safety. You lose your common logic. You lose your independent thought because you turn on that TV over and over again. You're, you are right where they want you. They have the thing you is, right I'm not for them, Chris, Chris yeah. Crystal. I'm not for I know. them. I'm not for You're these not. mandates. You're not. I, I totally I'm against that. these mandates. Yeah. But the thing is, we have to be able to identify that there's not some shadowy government controlling every aspect of our reality just because they wanted us to put on a mask so that more people could be workers, right? So that more people were alive in order to like fund the system that currently functions so that the economy didn't necessarily go through such a big turndown so that hospitals weren't overfilled. There were right. genuine reasons as to why these things were actually conducted. So to like just throw it up to some type of like global conspiracy, not only is it intellectually dishonest, but there's no evidence to substantiate those claims. I didn't because you can't hear, but it's pretty obvious if I was a bad guy, this would be the perfect, this would be the perfect move for me. If this would be the perfect move for me, I would definitely do this exactly 100%. If I was a bad, bad person who wanted to slowly take away people's rights, 100%. Let's, let's do what they, let's do exactly what they did. So I, I don't have names. And then you want, you want to cite sources and that's really good. You should always have proof. But these people do work in the shadows. They own multiple companies under multiple names. I don't have that list right now. But we can, we're can. we talking about theories. And these people do work in the shadows. Because why would they work out in the open? That doesn't make any logical sense. Of course you're going to work in the shadows. You're a really bad guy. You have very bad intentions. You don't want people knowing your name or what you own. So of course they work in the shadows. That logically makes sense. And yeah, you can have a whole list of the companies they own. And proof that certain pub, uh, politicians work for them, I don't have it. But based on their actions and based on what they're doing and going along with and how Trump does not go along with this, um, this slowly taking away our rights, I can see that Trump's a good guy. I can see that Trump was fighting for the American people. And I can see the people in Canada, their leader was not. And I can see other leaders that were not. So it's a theory. And when you have enough arrows that point to that theory, I can very much say that this theory is very strong. That's all that we have right now. We don't have solid conclusions until in 15 years later, when we see that Trump was the greatest American in history, everything they told us without any logical or independent thought. Yeah, so if they work in the shadows, how do you know they exist? Because of the things that are happening right now. I, I see the words coming out of their mouth on the TV, and I am not dumb. Okay, so I here's what it is, stupid. though. Here's what it is. You're applying that this could be a specific way, right, if they were in this position, but you can't substantiate that they are in this position in the first place because you've already agreed that they're within the shadows and you have no evidence that they exist within that manner, right? So your entire claim relies on this presupposition that they are in that place within the first place, which obviously you could use like these things that are happening within our current society in order to control more people if you were in that position. But the thing is you can't identify that they're in that position, one, and two, right? We're just trying to apply some type of authoritarian concepts onto things that exist within our current reality, right? There's no actual general process of substantiating these theories. It's more or less we have a conclusion that these theories exist, and then we look for evidence to support, to support these conclusions. Yeah. Again, it's, it's a flawed yeah. way of trying to come to some type of genuine conclusion. It's a theory. you got to have enough arrows that are pointing at something, and we can say, whoa, something really bad's happened. But Think wait, but, but I have a defeater for your theory, though. The defeater for your theory is you don't know if they're in power in the first place. Okay, let's just drop the whole, give me specifics, because we don't have that right now. We That's don't have point, it. Though. Yeah, but there's something. So if we don't have specifics, therefore, we should just go along? No, I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not saying just go no, along. Thank you. I'm telling you to be critical. I want people to be critical. But the thing is, you're you know, being critical on things that have no evidence to substantiate them. Listen, I got drugs lining the hallway. Somebody's selling drugs. Down, I don't know who it is. There's drugs down the hallway. I don't know who it is, but I can infer there's a drug problem in my building. Can I not? Oh, you, now, you can you do it based upon that, to, but you don't even have that type of can, deduction. Oh, there's plenty of it. Could Turn you on give the me TV. Some? Uh, like specifically? A like lay out, facing lay out apps on your phone. For me. Low. 
you want to know how they're trying to slowly take away our, I think we need a Chinese citizen on here right now, somebody in another country who understands the threat every single day of being under tyrannical control. Listen to the Iranian people. They are under the threat of, hey, do things our way or we have power over you. We are very, you want to know why the American, America is the greatest country in the world? Not because we're better than anyone else, not because we create amazing stuff. Because we have a system that protects us against tyranny and being holocausted. I know that's a scary word, but over and over again, that's what happens. Tyrannical leaders don't care about us. That's where they want us. They want us under complete control or they want us gone. They're egotistical psychopaths. If they can't control you, if you get in the way of their money, they either want you gone or completely controlled under them. Trump knows freedom. Trump is fighting for us. And in 10 years, people are going to say, wow. A lot of people are waking up right now. If anybody else is woken up to Trump being a good guy fighting for America, you're welcome to, you know, say that. But yeah, yeah, you cannot. I don't have a list of names. I have some names, but that's that's exhausting. We're just talking about the basics here where the frog is being boiled. And if you have it, have accepted that this is for your safety, I got it. I got to say, wow. Maybe turn off that TV for a little while. I don't go on media. I don't go on the TV. This is just a way that you try to use in order to be like, oh, you're a sheep. You just follow people around you. I critically think I apply these sort of like concepts into like what I believe, right? Yeah. There are people, there there are countries around the world that rank higher on the freedom index than we do here in the United States. They have higher levels of freedom than we do. Right. So America is not the best country in the world because we have access to freedom and we have access to rights when other countries have higher access to freedom than we do here in the United States. Secondly, like they have higher levels of economic well-being for the average person comparative to us. True. People in our country are doing very well if they're rich and they're better off and they own like large companies. But if you are an average person in the United States, your quality of living is less than that of like people in Scandinavia, Scandinavian countries and in Mm -hmm. European countries as well. Secondly, right, what, what type of historical precedent, precedents do you have to, like, claim that we can be led to the Holocaust based upon, um, like, the, the COVID restrictions that we had, right? Because I'm obviously, I'm not, I'm not for the COVID restrictions that we had anymore, but, like, yeah. I would still say, like, like we, we have no type of historical precedents to say that that would be taking away right. from our rights as to mean yeah. that that would lead to a Holocaust. That's only yes. happened one time throughout history in relation to specifically the Holocaust, yeah. right? There are different hey, it's factors a new- that lead to yeah. different genocides that have existed throughout history. Yeah, so you'd have to lead mm-hmm. or like show me some type of historical precedence that would lead to that. Hey, it's a different world. It's the year 2022. They'll try any tactic they want. Off with your heads back in the day. Um, you know, Jews are bad. That's what they use for. They'll use anything. They will use anything. And this makes a lot of sense. It's a worldwide thing. They want total control. And I'll tell you why they want total control. Because there's some new technology that's coming that is going to empower the people of the world. Like we're talking to each other right now and they don't want that. They want us watching the TV. They want us listening to them, but the people of the world are going to start talking to each other more and more and they're losing control. And I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about everyone being holocausted. I'm not worried about that at all. I'm not worried about the bad guys winning. They're not because thankfully Trump helped guide us out of that darkness because if they were to gain a leverage of total control over people of the world over countries then guess what we'd be in a bad place we'd all be going to rehabilitation camps that's what they would call them they'll use anything they need to they can label it whatever they want but tyranny no, they is generally tyranny. say re-education camps if we're talking about that in particular sure let, let's label let's call it rehabilitation that's what I would, would be do. different right that, that's okay, actually something that they're that. dealing with in china right now with um with the with the uyghur muslims um, they're putting them in like quote unquote re-education camps, right? Ooh, that's so sketchy. that's not something that's happening within the United States, and you have no historical yeah. precedence oh, yeah. to make that claim. It's and I think that's something all that over the world. Much made clear right here. All right? over no, the th- world. No, yeah. that's not necessarily something that's happening in the United States, and you'd have to like show some type of deduction that this could happen in the United States based upon historical pre- precedence or based oh, upon any type yeah. of genuine like claim. Right. If we also like look at this, right, you never necessarily um, went over like the the point I made about like the freedom index. Right. The United States isn't the best country in the world based upon us being the most free, because not only are we the not only not, not the most free, but also in lots of different other statistics, uh-huh. we rank significantly far behind other countries okay. in education in terms of how much money yeah. people make on average. In yes. terms of like quality of life for people in terms of access to health care. Right. We, we rank way behind all yeah. of these countries. So I don't think that we're the best country. Okay, I like your facts. I love it. But uh, I'm just saying we got a lot of problems, right? I do agree. We have problems with racism. We have problems with misogynists, with women's rights. We got all these things. We got, we got, 
plenty of economic problems. I'm with you 100%. But we cannot hash out or fix those problems if we are not free to do so. If we yeah, have to constantly. Yeah, from we got to be free. Freedom free is what? number one. It's like when you have a relationship with your spouse. Yeah, you got car problems, you got financial problems. You got to fix the relationship between you. you. You have to have love, okay? You have to have freedom between you, okay? The basis of everything in our country, in the world, depends upon us remaining free. Then we can hash out racism, all these topics. But again, if we're under <laughs> people in China, they're not free. Okay, they can't go on certain websites. They can't Google whatever they want. Um, that's that's sketchy. Okay, if you talk badly about your government in China, you go missing. That's not good. They're not free, and they don't say, "Hey, we're not free. Help us!" Because guess what? They'll go missing. And we don't have that here. We don't realize that kind of threat. We don't have that tyrannical control. They're not free. Um, I'd rather be like, okay, I was thinking about the Crystal, other day. The I'd is, rather be. Is, I need to ask you this question very specifically because mm -hmm. I've already asked this, right? Free from what? Well, there's a lot we're talking right? what, about. What do we so need to I be free from? In, what do we need to be free from in order to like deal with these things? Because I would say it's corporate lobbying, right? It's influences of corporations on the government. But that's something that's all public. That's something that we can determine with actual evidence. It's not necessarily some shadowy government or like set families that control every aspect of our reality. There are only influences yeah. that exist when you have things like money, right? You can't control the every aspect of someone's reality, just given like what we have today, right? Corporate lobbying, sure, it's everywhere. It's the media. It's, yeah, it's everywhere. They own all aspects of our life that would get in the way of their power, okay? They don't care about small pet shops down the street. They care about the media because we all go to the media. They care about very large centralized institutions like government, like politicians. They got their hand in that their back pocket. They got their hand in all the back pockets that are going to threaten their power position. This is a, a power game and you have to understand how that works first. I, I don't I don't answer exactly. like tiny little questions. I answer big large questions. I answer questions of like how does tyranny creep into a country? How do people become unfree? How do people wake this up and This is a big realize, question. Oh God, free from gone. what? What do you have to be free for from in order to deal with all of these other issues? This is like a vital question. A very vital question. Well, we sh we're human beings. We should be free. I should go and take a hike in the forest if I want. But people wait, wait, wait. again, 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 free from what? Free from what? What do we need to be free from in order to address these things? Well, somewhere along the line, we decided we needed to be governed, and that was sketchy. We need to make sure that somebody, anybody outside of ourselves, cannot control my life. I don't know who you want to label that as. You can label that as government. You want to get rid of the government? As. No, I think we should be able to decide on laws together. But if the politician's not so how working we do it for right us, now? Mm, no, we have politicians that say, hey, I'm working for you. And some so of them don't. So we should do direct democracy. Yeah, we're going to have a lot more democracy in our, in our future. I think we can do referendums. But to say that we have the ability to do direct democracy, I think, is far from reality. Most of the country right now doesn't even vote for the election. Or not most. Yeah, it's, like a yeah, very yeah, large it's, percentage of the population doesn't vote for the mm -hmm. election. If we can't expect yeah, them to, to uh, vote for the election, how do we expect them to be yeah. politically literate yeah. enough in order to vote on every single issue alone, right? We have to gain their trust back because we've lost it. Because politicians like Obama said, hey, I'm going to take you out of war and never did. We don't trust these politicians. And they're stuck in there for four years. We need a whole new system. Web3 is coming that is going to decentralize the world give us back more power to talk directly to each other like we're doing right now, implement changes in our cities, in our governments, everything. There's a whole new way of life coming, and it's because we're going to implement AI technology, Web3, and a new decentralized type of world. And guess why this whole thing happened right now? Guess why they wanted total control of the world? Because they're losing it really fast. And when I say they, I mean the corrupt elite. And I'm sorry that that triggers a lot of people, but they're out there. They're hiding in the shadows. They got a lot of money and power to lose that they pass on to their shady uh, carpet, Parmesan, sneezing, cheesy son, and they don't want to lose it. If you had a lot, a lot of money and somebody said, sorry, you're going to go out of business in 10 years, you're going to freak out. That's my money. I got to pass that on to my kids. I don't want that. A good person like Trump would say, hey, take some losses, get back up and try a different route. But not these guys. They're dealing with drugs, people trafficking, the worst of the worst shady shady um things that shouldn't exist in our world but and if we ever find out that that's how they're getting their money the large large amounts of their money and those money cash cows are gone from them they don't want it 
Does anybody see the the correlation? <laughs> this is royalty versus okay. the peasants. It's been here for centuries. It's still here, people. We're still dealing with it. But you don't know that. The thing is, you don't know that. You're just claiming that, right? Obviously, if there was someone in power, they want to keep that power. That's obviously a claim that you can make. I'm not going to disagree with that. But the thing is, we have to substantiate that they are in power first in order to substantiate the claim that they would want to keep that power in the first place. So when you can't even identify that they are in power in the first place, all of your other claims are kind of like irrelevant. Check out the Queen of England. Check out the top 1%. Go off some memes. Look the, at top 1 in the, United, the top 1% of the United, the top 1% of the world makes like $30,000. Top 1% of the world makes, no, I'm talking about the very, 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 very wealthy uh, families. Anyways, if you guys are Democrat and you liked Bernie Sanders, That's not the top 1%. One, thing, one thing he said on his last national tele democratic debate was, look at who owns the media. He's trying to get some people to wake up. There's some very, didn't Bernie Sanders say, hey, there's the corrupt 1%. And we all need to be very careful because they have a lot of money and power. And that's very dangerous. And we're all like, well, what do you mean very dangerous? And what he's saying, which you can't say out loud because you don't want to piss off these people, is, hey, they will take away your rights slowly, enslave you, and push you off a cliff because they don't care about you. They care about their money. They would love a small group of people. Guess why they want a smaller population worldwide? Because it's easier to control. It's not about the world's environment, the health of the environment. Wake up, you. people. They don't care about you. They care about their wealthy families. And if they can't control you, in the Holocaust, what they do? Line up here. Hey, can we use you for slave labor? You're, we can't use you? Okay, they you didn't go ask. online they too just to took go take these a shower. People. They went into houses yeah. and they took people out, right? Oh, yeah, they just took Okay, them. again, again, you're not substantiating any of these claims. You're not even interacting with anything I'm saying. You just keep continually saying like things that support your ideological beliefs, but you're not actually looking at the foundation of these beliefs in order to justify these claims, right? We can't necessarily look at like what happened within the Holocaust to correlate it to today because a, oh, lot, yeah, what, a lot of what happened exactly. leading up to the Holocaust was significantly different than what's happening today. There was a lot Absolutely more overt not. authoritarianism back then than there would be today, even if you were claiming that there was this illusion of authoritarianism right we need to understand Absolutely that there not. would be an illusion of authoritarianism and you've already concluded to me that you can't necessarily get specifics for this you can't get evidence for this these are just things that you believe to be true because you think that throughout history this is continued which is we we can't necessarily claim to be the case at this point like obviously you, there's a lot of influence for people who are rich and a lot of people who are rich they want to continue to be rich so obviously they want to influence institutions in like uh like of uh, the government and whatnot right obviously Right? But we can see this. This is all public. This is public information. That doesn't mean that there's some type of shadowy government that controls every aspect of our society. Right? This whole idea of we need to understand what's actually going on and we need evidence to substantiate these claims isn't oh, me funny. trying to be a sheep and just follow people. It's me saying we need real substantiations. We need real answers. We need real solution to these, to these problems. Not just saying that this entire system is corrupt and we, we need to fix it, but without providing any proper solution. What's the proper solution? We never talk about this. We only identify what the problem is. We never give actually something to do. Thank you for the hang hanging lights. I appreciate the it. The proper solution is coming, and it's called the next level of the internet, which is going to build a whole new system where tyranny cannot take over the people of the world again. And it's coming. It's very huge. When Trump said the best is yet to come in the middle of a pandemic, and people are like, this guy's nuts. This guy's a liar. People don't know what a lot of the stuff he's saying right now, but in 10 years, they're going to be like, wow, that's what that guy was talking about. He was trying to protect us so that we can get to this new technology that's going to, you know, Web3, NFTs, um, smart contracts are attached to non fungible NFTs. like items. Yeah. How, how is that going to have anything to do with what we're talking about in terms of like setting well, up a whole new economic system that has yeah. a completely different power struck power? Yeah, struggle. it's fascinating. People right now, NFTs are just little artwork, but eventually in the future, they're going to be attached to smart contracts. So people in other lands can have title to their land. So a tyrannical leader can't come and take their land from them. They have a NFT. They have a smart contract. Yeah, corgi. I appreciate it. But that doesn't do anything, though. That's just that's literally the same thing as having it a, doesn't a, like do a paper today from the... Yeah, it's the exact same thing as having a paper from today. If there's someone who has like a monopoly... Okay, wait, are you saying that like we're not going to have any type of like government or anything? No, we'll probably have some government, but a lot less. And only... Um, I'm not sure. But we're going to have a system where we don't need a lot of like even banks in our way. Um, so a lot of these institutions that are centralized, banks, governments, they've all become corrupt. So we're going to have a new, this is the solution. Wait, how so? They don't work for us. They take our money, they loan it out. Um, again. They take your money and loan it out. That's what banks do. How does that mean that they're corrupt? 
kind of the one, 1% one here, 5% there. You got to go through PayPal. They shut down your account. I mean, there's a lot of things that are just super sketchy, that not smooth and not very efficient. So in the future, we're going to have, like cryptocurrency is kind of the beginning of where we're headed. We're going to own our information. We're going to own our money. We're going to transact directly with each other, like how I'm talking directly to you. Now, right now we're using a middleman. We're using a TikTok app. But in the future, possibly the metaverse will talk directly to each other. It's we're going to have a mu much but more through free the metaverse. I, I believe so. Yeah, that's that's, that's yeah. also a medium. No, it's going to be the metaverse is going to be like a worldwide interconnected web. It's not any kind of medium. It's and not going to be expect a that to be decentralized. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, you think that there, there's some shadowy government controlling every aspect of a reality, but you think they're going to bring about some type of like metaverse that is connects like people internationally that's going to be decentralized? You think they're going to allow for cryptocurrency government. that's decentralized? You don't think they're going to have any type of monopoly over their own currencies? Well, let me start with the first thing you said is I don't think there's a shadow government controlling every part of our lives. I think there's very wealthy people who get a lot of money through the oil industry and they want to protect that. So they pass laws, they make sure politicians, they make sure people don't come up with new innovations. They don't want that money line gone. They want their cash cow. They want their cash. Then they also own other cash cows like mm, illegal drugs, people trafficking. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So I agree with the first part. Government. I agree with the first part. Yes, big oil definitely has an invested interest in continuing to make money, right? That's why they pass specific laws and try to influence yeah. the, the government through lobbying, right? In order yes. to be able to like pass legislation that allows for them to continue to sell their products, right? That's absolutely yeah. the case. That's all public information, right? But this yeah. leap that you're making onto the next thing in terms of they're trying to utilize, like this, this whole group of people are trying to utilize drugs in, in human trafficking in order to control people as well. Thank you for the little crown, right? You'd have to substantiate. So I, I agree with the initial claim, okay. but that doesn't prove right. the other claims. They're it not proves what to, I said. They're not trying to control people because, well, yeah, because, okay, so if I'm a free person and I can say, hey, that guy over there, He's doing people trafficking and drugs, and I get all the other people to see it because I have a thing called freedom of speech. They're screwed. But because I have rights and I'm a free human being, which is not very good, they don't like that, that would be much more of a benefit if I wasn't free to speak. That way I can't point them out. I can't get rid of their dirty cash flows. Do you see how it works? Wait, so why are you free to speak? Why, why don't they just get rid of, me, rid of your freedom of speech? Apparently it works because in China. Because I have this amazing thing called our founding fathers and a constitution and rights and a military that protects me to always maintain my Wait, so freedom. so they don't have power over that? I thought they no, they don't. Of our no, reality. they don't. They got to be shady and try to pull tricks and games to try and, to try and take our rights. For me to willingly give over my rights slowly is what they really want. Because guess what? It's a little tricky here in America. We have a constitution, a military that's protecting us. So they got to be very, very tricky. They got to be very, very sneaky. How else do you take away my ability to say, hey, you're a bad guy? They don't want that. They really don't want that. So why don't they just ban people from talking about this on these social media platforms? Like if I post something that TikTok mm. doesn't like, they mm -hmm. can keep my video at yeah. zero views. Exactly. They can not send out my live. Why don't they do that? Why don't they? You know, they did a how, little How were you thing. able to hear about it in the first place? Well, what if they owned Facebook and they did and they started to censor us more and more and more? That's a very good. Wait, why didn't they just censor you from the first Facebook. place? Wait, no. If, if they have all of this control, like shadowy speaking, right? Why don't why wouldn't they just censor it from the beginning so it never gets passed out? Right? They would. Ha they have censor the ability. The you said they have all of the control. They control these social media don't, platforms. They don't. How come they, they don't just have ban all. people right away? They don't have all the control because they don't, and they can't be oh, that obvious. Don't. That's that's not that's not a smart game. They can't be that obvious. Okay, yeah, you're right. If they own Facebook completely, they don't want to be obvious. Wait, That's that wouldn't be obvious. That would be move. less obvious because less people would be able to hear these types of things in, in particular. You gotta be, you gotta be sneaky. It's gotta be slow. It's gotta that be like, sneaky. oh, that was just a little bit of, just a little bit of rehabilitation camp. Okay, everybody's free now. Uh oh, we got more stuff. Let's back in your homes. Don't worry, everything's going as planned. Just a temporary little. Just boil the frog. Just get them used to it. You know what I mean? Just get them used to that new way of life was they saying this is the new normal come on come on people the new normal they're trying to get you used to a a world where you're not free and then talk to everybody and there say, was literally just normal. a global pandemic this is something that hasn't happened for the last hundred years right obviously yeah, there's I know. gonna be a difference in our lives now than there was prior because it's a fucking huge event right there are obviously yeah. gonna be changes but this does literally not prove any of the other claims that you're making
It was huge. So they wanted that contract tracing app on our phone. Do you remember that? They did that so in other countries around the world. How come, how come they haven't lost their rights? How come they aren't put in concentration camps? How come they aren't put in re-education camps? They, they did the contact tracing. They had all of the fucking vaccine passports. They had all of that government control. Yeah, you want to know did. where it is now? It's not fucking there, right? How come they didn't take yeah. away from all of their rights? Because guess what? Military's in control. Patriots in control. Because guess what? This whole thing that happened, our military knew about it. We're yeah. talking about and different countries around the world. Sir- like I'm talking about like like South Korea, for example, right? They had contact tracing. They, they had that type of stuff. How come their rights aren't taken away? People in Europe, they had vaccine passports. How come their rights aren't taken away? Yeah, super sketchy stuff. Some of these countries have leaders that are uh, working with the people that are stuffing their back pockets. They don't care about us. I'm getting money from this guy over here. Yeah, let's go along. Let's, let's, let's move people into this uh, plan to control every aspect of their life. There are bad leaders in the world and bad in countries where they are trying to implement vaccine packs, passports and more control. And we can see who they are, obviously, uh, Canada, other countries. But guess what? Here, we didn't have that happen. Why is that? Because the military protects us here because they don't let us get tricked because they don't let our rights be taken from us. Even when a large group of us are like, oh, I'll just that sounds like a good idea to me. That's really, really dangerous. It's like a little child just walking around in the street. Our military's like, we know you don't really see things very correctly right now, but we're not going to let you walk into the street. Okay. A lot of people are getting tricked. A lot of good people who are just trying to do the right thing are getting tricked. And if it were to go far and we did believe this, it could get really bad. And one day we'd wake up in rehabilitation camps, which would look very, very shady uh, and possibly bad. Does that... So, so they control all of our government and what our government does through a shady mechanism, but they don't control the military. Absolutely, yeah, I don't believe so. There's okay, a lot so of how stuff they that's send shady. how they send people to the Middle East, like to how troops to the Middle people? East. Yeah, how for, yeah. for oil? Right? Yeah, it's bad. A yeah, lot how of come, these how wars... come they were able to control the military then? Well, sometimes you have to make it look like a bad guy's in control to keep the game going. This is a huge sting operation so you gotta let them play we don't take people to jail okay you gotta commit the crime first we don't just off people all right so if these leaders of the countries want to go along with this hey let's go right along because in in the future you're going to be held accountable for crimes against humanity trying to enslave the world take away the freedom of the world go for it but guess what? Who, who was trying to enslave and take away the freedom of the world? And again, you haven't substantiated that they even took away rights in a lot of these countries. What rights Why did they take they? away? It's almost like somebody was protecting us. It's almost like there's... It, no, I'm talking like about in other got... countries, in Canada, and in places in Europe, and uh, in like in New Zealand. All those places had vaccine passports. All those places got their rights taken away. But apparently that's not in play right now. So how come their rights are still not taken away? Because we'll, our military... We'll let this roll out. They'll let us get to the edge of the cliff, okay? They'll let us get to the edge of the cliff. But they're not going to let us go over the cliff, okay? And a lot of this is a huge awakening for the people to see why are rights important? How do we get tricked and played? And if you're going to do this to the people of the world or to your country, you're going to be held accountable. So, yeah, they got a little vaccine passport. We got shut down for a, a few months. That hurts. That hurts a lot. But guess what really, really hurts? Your freedom being completely taken from you. And one day you're just, your family's being holocausted and you had no idea how because you were tricked and played. Did there you is listen to anything a, I said? Are you listening to anything that I'm saying? Yeah, I am. Uh, are you I, really, did you know what you, my last question was? What was my last have question? You, have you read a history book? I mean, if you want to start doing the attacking, yeah. have you taken history? I'm not doing person? an attack. I'm just asking if you listen. Do you know what my last question was? No, you're asking a lot of questions. Ask one question, I'll answer it. I, I did ask one question, and you never responded to it. That's, that's the go. issue, because the thing is, I keep asking questions, and then you, you kind of don't lot. necessarily talk about the question that I bring up. So, like, I try to keep asking it, or, like, I try to ask it in a different way. Because, I know, I know, because you're asking questions, and sometimes when you ask a question, like, I have to reformulate, because your question is flawed. So I have to take you back five steps to get you to understand that the flaw the illogic in your question. How is it illogical? Why do you even think that that question is important? 
Why do I think it's important whether or not they lost their rights? Because you told me that they would lo- we, that we are going to lose our rights and that they're going to continue to take them away from us if they just took them away from us within our, or if they just like made us wear masks during the pandemic, right? Which a lot of these places, they did have like these quote unquote authoritarian responses that you talked about, but they never actually like lost their rights. So again, I'm asking exactly, how they- Exactly, exactly. So yeah, we didn't, we were- Because you're saying that this again, leads to the Holocaust. Again, we were pushed to the edge, but we were not, our rights were not completely taken from us. Thank God. They weren't but we taken all got a little from taste. us at all. We got a little taste of what they were trying to do, didn't we? We all got a little taste. And if you, I know you're, you're very young, but people who are older understand what it's like to have their rights taken from them. The uh, Iranian revolution, they called it a revolution. It was just total control of the women and the people of their country. And they are suffering because they are not free. You've got to understand the importance of freedom. You've got I do. to understand. I do understand the importance of freedom. But the thing is, we're not losing our freedoms, right? You're just telling exactly. us that we're losing our freedoms, but we're not losing our freedoms. It's not leading to the Holocaust, and you can't substantiate these claims. I'm not saying that we are. I'm saying if we were to, it would it would lead to a worldwide Holocaust. Exactly. That's exactly where they want to go. But no one's we ta- are not like we're not taking rights. away our rights in the United States. Again, like what what rights? Exactly. What is leading exactly. toward us losing our rights? Thank God, the military is protecting us. We still have our Second Amendment. We still have our freedom of speech, except on these centralized platforms, right? They don't let us speak so freely here. So that's a problem. We need to be able to speak freely to each other whenever we want to. And we need to come to the conclusion of what's appropriate for people of the world to talk about, not talk about. So I have to go walk my doggies now, but I hope that you enjoyed the debate. Yeah, for sure. I, I appreciate you coming on. All right, Trump's going down as the greatest president in in world history. Bye. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, so, um, yeah, basically, like, historians almost have a consensus that Trump was considered, like, the fourth worst president throughout history, right? I don't necessarily think I would agree with that. There are probably lots of other ones, which I think are worse. But, like, like, bro, it's definitely not the number one president of, of history, I don't know by what metric they would be applying that standard. Um, that's pretty crazy to me. I don't know. Oh fuck! I wanna I wanna let um, Jay in real quick. Bro, good. Did you hear that, man? <laughs> she's like, wait. What did she say? When you asked a question, I just immediately I was like, damn, she's already fumbling. He asked one question. <laughs> No, I, I don't think she responded to any of my genuine questions. Like I, no, I really she didn't. Don't think she so. wanted to ramble like a dog. I was waiting for you to put her down. Let someone else in. Gosh, no, I, 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 no, I like, I genuinely feel like I can get through to people like that. But the thing is, like, the thing, mm-hmm. like, any type of evidence that you bring up to them, any type of like question, like a critical thinking that you apply to their situation, they always try to like turn it back onto you and be like, you're just following what, yeah. what they want you to think. And it's like, bro, I'm just telling you substantiate you have evidence for your belief system. You literally took the sheet mentality in which you used to have and you applied it to a new ideology. That's literally all you did. Yes. Yeah, well, it's just, okay, so when asked, like, what kind of freedoms were being taken away, she's like, they almost did. But the military, like, what, I don't know what that means. Like, when the military, when she's saying, like, the military is protecting us, I don't know what that means. Me neither. Um, it's, I think it's just a claim that she had to, like, rely on, too. Yeah. Oh, no, the fraud is here. What is so confusing to me is, like, if somebody is going to be taking away these rights, who do you think is going to be enforcing that? (laughs) (laughs) Like, what? Like, it's going to be the military enforcing that. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like... No, but apparently, apparently they're protecting us from ever going to that. They they edge us though. They edge us. Though. Oh, that was fun as fuck. The domestic level, the police. That's gonna be. That's like came in there for to think like, damn, the military just be edging us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oh, bro, the military is edging the st- the deep state. That's no, funny, no, bro. apparently, man. Uh, I I don't know, man. Like I. I, I know they're still in the comments. I really hope they are. Like, the thing is, I genuinely don't believe how people can come to these conclusions. Oh, yeah. I totally called her a dog. My bad. Sorry. If you're still here. Parker, she's in the comments? I know. I literally know. Still typing in chat. I don't see them, though. Like, where they're at. But that's just, like, I... Wait, if they send a guest request back... Oh, they did. You want to talk to them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm right here. Let's talk. 
<laughs> Go for it. I think that I think they have some things they want to talk about. Go ahead and call me a dog again. Um. Yeah, you were rambling like a dog instead of answering Parker's questions. That's kind of my the reason why I was here. Huh? <clears throat> I was talking very fast, and Parker was also talking. Bro. Call it rambling. You can go ahead and attack. Um. And dog. I think like, so one question. It was probably a little frustrating for Parker because he just asked one question and then you're like monologue for like five minutes. Listen, I did my best. If you guys can't hear the answer that I'm giving to you, I don't know what. Like, if you guys. I just think the. And I just think the funny thing is that we made so many claims about how the world works without a single source. Go on, bro. Let's talk about edging and, and laughing. Where'd that? Where'd that go? Your suddenly your demeanor whole ch changed now that I'm in here. Why don't we go back? Oh, to you the said the military <laughs> was like edging us or something? Like we were on the precipice of losing our uh, rights? Yeah, bro. Hello, you're cutting out, Christy. By the way. Yeah, we're oh, edging. Oh, that's not just my edging. internet. So funny. I thought Sorry it was my head. internet. Wait, Bro, you're is the, the, does the word edging, uh, does it that like trigger you or something? Yeah, it's like creepy as shit. Why, who says that in a, in a respectful debate? But now that a woman's in here. Edging? Edging? Yeah, it's freaking creepy. That's just what you were referring yeah, to. Yeah, why? Was I referring to you or was I referring to what you said about the military? I don't know. You guys are just... Just so rude and disrespectful. Maybe I'll leave for five minutes and we'll see what what kind of men you really. You really no, I'll, I'll say it to you your face because the thing is, we can go over all of these arguments and we can go through them. I do genuinely think that these are like removed from reality, and I've explained them to you as well. I obviously want to be respectful, but the thing is, when you're not able to respond to anything that I have to say, um, it's clear that you already have your conclusion set, and then you're not willing to hear other people out. So that's the only reason I would I would say you're in the laugh is because someone genuinely doesn't want to like listen to anything. They just want to form their inclusions, monologue, and just say random rants, rants, and then literally just like expect you to like like think what they think, right? No, I, I hun, like sorry, I don't say hun, but like like a lot of the stuff you say, I don't agree with. I don't think you're answering my questions. I don't think you're hear what I'm saying. But like, can we just try to talk? Try to discuss. And you keep saying, I'm not answering your questions. I'm not answering your questions. That's almost like gaslighting. That's like so. Well, the thing is, you weren't, you weren't if answering his questions. You were dancing around him like a ballerina. If I'm not answering your questions at all, I'm saying the sky is blue and dogs are brown. Like, I'm answering your questions. And I'm very sorry that you can't hear my response. You are asking a lot of questions. And I'm sorry Thank that you. my response isn't what you like or understand. But oh, I'm not understanding you, apparently. It was one question. Well, it's just like, well, real quick, Jay. It's just like when we apply. Uh... Sorry, bro. I can't hear you. Why don't you start again? Okay. When we apply certain standards or we apply certain beliefs that we have of how the world is governed, but we don't give one single source as to how that's the case, I just don't know how you expect to be taken seriously. I don't know how you expect to be taken seriously when all you do is personally attack people instead of have an intelligent discussion. Why don't you just attack my law? Wait, no, wait, wait, he's not you attacking you. I was, I was attacking you. really quick. Do you know just ask a work? question. I'm very sorry if you don't like my response. I'm not going to change it. Yeah, so... And, and okay, you can keep saying, question. I'll ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. And then when you're done answering that, I'm going to say, you didn't answer my question. Okay, How okay, I'm gonna ask you one doing How though. frustrating. Okay, one I don't question, care. Okay. That's my response. Just stop wait, saying that. Can you it's answer, so wait, rude. Answer one question. Answer one question. Can you, question, can you answer one question from me? Can you maybe stop saying wait, you what, didn't answer wait, the question after I just answered the why question? Are you dodging? Why, why this is, are you this dodging? is getting nowhere, so I'm done. So ask ask me a question, I'm gonna answer it. Stop personally attacking me and saying I don't answer questions. This is, yeah, so this is ridiculous. Bring up a source for one thing you said in this conversation. No, hun, I know you just graduated college and like you need to cite your sources. I get it. I get it. But this is Wait, a bigger issue. Wait, you said you issue. don't know how debates work? You know, there's how two old parts are you? of debates, right? How old are you? Why is, that, why is that relevant? I just want to know. Just let everybody know. Yeah, so like uh, me giving personal info isn't also how debates work. It seems once again that you don't know how debates work. So uh, generally, when we're t when we're having debates, there's two parts of debates, right? 
one, there's the beliefs that we have, and two, there's our justification for those beliefs, right? Both why, don't you send a link for, why don't you send a link for all the rules you have here that cite your sources for your logical discussions? I need a link and a source right now. Can you please provide me that? So, re so ridiculous. Are you, are you being intentional? Why are you being intentionally bad faith? Exactly. Personally attacked again. Go ahead. No, that was a, a question question of reality. Well, we're not even talking about Trump anymore. Do you realize how stupid this is? We're not I even talking about I wonder why the conversation anything. has led to this. Yeah. Do, you, do you think like attacking your like idea, do you think attacking your beliefs is like attacking your like personal like, like you as a person? No. Next question. Did that answer oh, the question? Oh, not okay. Question for you? No, I didn't oh, get it. So Josh, is not, so, so, didn't so Josh is not making a personal attack then? No. I just want some sources, man. Sorry, I can't give you sources. That That is my answer. Do you accept it or not? Oh, yeah, so, I wait, accept it. I just don't think it makes it a justified friends? belief then. Great. Do you have Thank any you. justification for your Moving beliefs? along. Thank you. Moving along. I do not have such Wait, a sources. So I just want to know, do you have justification for, for your beliefs? My, or are you just I have theories and I have, you know what I have, guys? This is what I have. I have an understanding of history. I have an understanding of politics. I have my, my understanding of who Trump is. I have my logic and my mind. Okay, guys, that's Wait. what we're here to do. We're here to use If you have an understanding of politics... You're gonna have on. The, you're gonna have sources. Probably you don't have to have it like ready in hand, but you should at least point us to something. I'm sorry, hon. I don't have sources that can be given to you. Do you accept no. my answer, or do you not accept it? Um. Then I would say that you're you're believing in things that you don't know. I don't care what you think. Well, no, no. I'm simply asking a question. Do you be, do you like believe in things you don't know about? Obviously, there's theories to the world. Do you know what's happening in Iran right now? All you have is some people saying this is what's happening in my country. So you can draw logical conclusions. You draw conclusions all the time based on information. Wait, you don't have wait, to yeah, so how do you draw uh, conclusions? Wait, how do you, you, how do you draw conclusions? No, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, how do you that. draw you guys conclusions want to talk without having a source? Turn on the TV. Let's just listen to what they say and let's just get some <laughs> Wait, you know? Wait. That's what you do. Right? Isn't that what you guys do? Just turn on the TV. Wait, what if They'll CNN is telling me? You need Wait, what if it's CNN? Yeah, hold up. Let me go see Wait, what, what CNN, CNN is saying. Let me, let me hold up. Let me see what CNN is saying. Yeah, let me just go see what CNN is saying. Well, CNN said CNN. you're wrong. So you believe in CNN? No, I do not. I do not even turn on the TV or own one. I I use my own. Wait, you just said to turn on the TV. I'm telling you guys to do it because that's what you guys do. Where's your source for your stuff? All my sources are CNN, apparently. So. So on, so these oh, yeah. guys haven't given any kind of intelligence Thank discussion the at all. Shower. They I just appreciate said I don't it. answer Damn. questions. And yeah, me, me, Josh, and Jay, we're we're all really dumb individuals. Very stupid. Yeah, definitely. Well, so okay, let's just have a let's have an intelligent discussion. Why do you think that freedom is important? Sure. Yes. Go ahead, Josh. I'll let you. Yeah, so I'd say freedom is a, a right granted to man, and freedom is a necessary precondition for living in a society. Okay, you just didn't even answer my that. question. And where are your sources for why you believe freedom is important? <laughs> That's an a priori justification. Do you know what that is? How do you prove that freedom is important? Um, That's just so a theory. That's just ground, something you we can believe. Ground, we, can ground, we can ground ethical claims via intuitions, and I can give you like a, like a justification for my epistemic theories, but you won't understand them because I want to be really relevant. Because it seems you don't have like a triple digit IQ, so it's not going to be really relevant. I'm getting a really bad echo, so I'm going to turn on my ear pods because I can't hear anything you're saying. Oh, for sure. Did you get a call? It might be because of that. Keep that over a country. Triple digit IQ has nothing to do with this. Thank you for the corgi. I appreciate it. You're right. I was just, I was just making personal attacks because it doesn't seem to be the case that you're going to bring anything rational to this conversation. So, why don't you just go ahead and? Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, we hear you. Bros. Mm-hmm. 
We hear you. Sorry, guys. So... What's up, Chris? Are you there? The crystal? Yeah, but it's a weird echo. So um, I'm going to start again. Did you get again. a call? You can just send a guest request back, and it should fix it. Is it better now? I'm going to turn this off. I don't know how to turn this off. I'm going to turn it off. Save. Okay, I think it's better now. Okay, for sure. Thank you for the hand hearts. I appreciate it. Yeah, so um, again, again, we're just concerned here about like the justifications for our beliefs, right? So different types of uh, like okay. statements will require different types of justifications. Like the justification for what he just talked about requires Absolutely. something that's not necessarily based in like uh, statistics or like through like a study. What you are arguing does actually require yeah. some type of showing of like what type of power structure is success. Thank you so much for the Cooper. I appreciate it. Yeah, like, I mean, if you want to have a conversation about ethical epistemology, There's no paper. I guess that's fine. Like, I guess. Guys, there's no paper, there's no Bible to go to about how our power and how really bad people take over countries. There's, there's no Bible to go to. There's no site to source. There's just history and logic and rationale. Ask a person in China, why are you afraid of your government? They're not going to give you sites and sources. They're going to say, hey, we're not stupid. We see the writing on the wall. This is what they did in the past. They're trying more tricks and games on us here. We are not free. Ask them to cite their sources when they understand that they are not free individuals based on what is happening directly to them and based on what their government is telling them. Would you, would you like me to cite some sources? We can show you how like the, the, the Chinese government is putting people into the re-education camps in the Xinjiang province of China. I don't need sources. I've heard about that. I believe it. That's fine. Rehabilitation camps. That is a source. Wait, wait. In order to know that that existed, you need to look at a source. No, you can look now at yeah. direct videos. You can look at, listen directly to those, people. The, those, I saw a video sources. of people yeah, in Australia going directly that's into concentration camps. That's a source. That's okay. A source. So in Australia, Australia, there's TikTok videos of people going directly into concentration camps. So there you go. There's your source. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's, that's probably what the future is yes. going to be. Us with that's direct, exactly what uh, we're saying. Congratulations. 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 Great Thank job. you. Are we going to have a bro party now? Yay. Yeah, let's go. Let's we, do we, it. We, we, we've substantiated let's a go. point of view. We've justified a claim. I know you guys. I know you guys got fresh out of college and you're very smart and intellectual. And I appreciate still in the college. wanting to cite your sources and all of that. I appreciate that. That's awesome. I appreciate that. I have a master's degree. I graduated in 2011. So like, cool. I, I, eventually you just have to, eventually you just have to gather what you know and make logical conclusions. The best logical conclusion, right? Every day we're doing that. Uh, we're saying, yeah, we okay, this is where that, I'm right? at in my life. Based on everything that's happening in my life, I need to draw a logical conclusion. Yeah, do logical conclusions sure, require but when you yeah. ask, when you make an empirical claim, right? But when you when are you, you saying when you make a claim that's an empirical have you been watching claim the TV? TV? Because no, I don't. He said empirical. I'm not he said empirical. To questions that okay, not, empirical. Not, sorry, I said empirical. Yeah, so usually a claim that you that you were making is an empirical claim. So usually the evidence is going to be like an empirical evidence as to. Uh, but why okay. like, this is happening cool. or like what like what is happening <clears throat> okay i'm just gonna give you guys my best response and if you don't like that like if you don't find my responses at least um somewhat intelligent or i don't know then then why are you still talking to me you know what i mean like why would you talk to somebody who's so illogical if you think that not having a source or whatever is so illogical why are you still talking to me i obviously a have some think that points way. and i and agree okay. a lot with what parker I agree with a lot, a lot of what Parker said. Like, we're having a discussion. Yeah, yeah. so again, uh, I, it's not necessarily about that in particular. It's about the fact that, like, um, people do believe these types of things, and people do think that it's, like, okay, not to necessarily have a justification for a belief. And I think it's important to have these conversations mm -hmm. so that this can so be nice. re- um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, reinstated upon, like, what people think within society. So that we can, like, well, have like, more productive conversations. 
Well, what's a theory? I mean, we don't have a scientific logic. We don't have the facts on a theory. We just have a theory. That's why flat earth makes zero sense to me. There's no arrows that points to that's true at all. That's not true. That's not true. A theories in what? science have justifications. Mm-hmm. You're referring okay, to yes, justifications. Okay, thank you. Yes, theories. <laughs> theories are um, are an explanation of some aspect of reality that have been uh, pieced together by a body of evidence and supported exactly, by that body exactly. And of that's evidence. what I'm doing right now. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, then give the evidence. History, <laughs> the Holocaust. That, that's People not being evidence. Sent to concentration Hold on, that's camps. not evidence. Yes, it is. It is direct. It is one hundred percent evidence. They got tricked and hey, played. Wait, then what, they what got Holocaust. Do you is think that, that the United States? Wait, Jay. What particular claim is that evidence for? That yeah, I don't know if I can talk to you guys anymore because, like, you're not even like listening. You're just like, oh, what is the particular okay, reference you, to the particular claim? Wait, we're listening. We're asking you. For? Wait, Jay, chill out. What particular claim is the Holocaust evidence for? What claim that you've made? Tyranny and how your rights are taken from you until you are pushed off a cliff. How bad people do not care about you. Yes. Sure. Can you prove that due to the fact that something happened in the past, that it's uh, doomed to happen again? Can you prove that's the case? Uh, History. Um, There's all kinds of genocides. Just pick one. (laughs) Come on, guys. I didn't answer my question. (laughs) Oh my question. god! Um, the Inquisition. Do you know what the, the problem? Of, do you know what the problem of induction is? Do you know what the problem do you know of what induction in, is? Do you know what the Inquisition is? Years and years where the government used okay. religion as a question. way to control and just commit horrors against their people. They used that fear and control to the Inquisition, guys. She solved the I problem. Mean, yeah, can you solve the problem of induction? Oh my god. Do you guys know what the Inquisition is? Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a very I... large period of history. That what yeah. happened, guys? What happened? The government? Is this like a fucking quiz? Or are you not? Yeah, right. My I know. You guys are you guys are giving me fucking quizzes too. I love that. Yeah, I'm asking. I love how respectful you are. I'm not giving you wait, I'm not giving you worthless trivia questions, right? I'm asking you to justify your stance, and I'm giving you rebuttals to your stance, right? I presented you the problem of induction, which shows that we can't make uh, we can't make claims about what the truth or what the future will hold purely based off claims of the past, right? Oh well, I don't agree with you. Okay, we then can solve definitely the make induction. induction. We can definitely make uh, logical con- conclusions about how people acted in the past, and how that could definitely still be happening today. 100%. Okay, no one, wait, no one's, no one's referring to theoretical possibilities. I'm asking you, do the fact that something happened in the past prove that it will certainly happen again in the present or the future? I'm not asking you for a possibility. I'm asking to prove no. that it will happen in the future just by looking at the past. What? There is no way to logically say that this will 100% okay. happen okay. or not. Okay, then don't, then, don't make ju- then don't make claims you can't justify. I can make up. lots of claims. I can, I can draw logical conclusions. Yes, I can, hunt. Yeah, so, do you, so, you, so you're, uh, you're, you're like uh, conceding that your justifications aren't like foolproof at least? No, nothing is full. The future is very uncertain. Nothing is foolproof. There is nothing sure. 100% in stone. I'm very sorry that that makes you un- uncomfortable. But we take a lot of what's going on. We say, well, what could be happening? What could be happening? Nobody That's has the right answer. Saying. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just, once again, there's uh, problems in philosophy or in epistemology known as the problem of induction. Just because something happened in the past doesn't mean we can make a reasonable claim that it will happen again in the future. 100%. Right, uh, yeah, I agree. Well, However you, like, will define these logical possibilities seem to be something that you have to justify, right? Like, what is the chance of this happening again just because it happened at some point in the past? Like, I don't know how we can dictate that. I don't know how we can dictate that due to the fact that something happened in the past, the chance it happens again in the future is, like, over 50% or it has, like, a reasonable possibility or a majority possibility or something along those lines, right? No, it's like some things happened in the past will probably never happen again, and some things that happened in the past will have characteristics okay, well, wait, where's the that also, where's the I'm almost done, that have characteristics that are largely um, 
just like what happened in the past, but a little bit wait, different. If, wait, if you can conclude that some things that happened in the past will not happen again, right? And some things that happened in the past will happen again. How do you make the distinction between what is likely to happen again that happened in the past and what isn't likely to happen again that happened in the past? Because I'm a human how being and I say, thing? how can I decide? I can look around and see what's happening. Looks like we're not going to use swords to fight wars anymore. That's pretty obvious. But it looks like we're still going to war. So that's still happening. What right? is going to war? Wait, what is going to war have to do with the Holocaust? It's just an example. Again? It's just an example. It's just an example of saying things that happened yeah, in the so past I'm don't always justify, happen in the future. Right? So things that happen include... in the past, for example, like we don't use swords in wars anymore. They don't, okay. that doesn't happen in the future. Okay. But we still do have wars like we had in the past. Okay. Wait, you, you made you wait, made the claim wait, that we were no, going to get holocausted wait, in the United States, examples, but then we asked for evidence. I'm oh saying it's possible. Wait, it's wait possible. I'm asking you. Wait, no, I didn't ask you for examples. I'm asking you for a framework, right? What is the framework that we use to dictate whether something that happened in the past is likely to happen again and isn't likely to happen again, right? I'm not asking you for two examples. I'm asking you, what is the framework? The framework what is, is history. That we can apply? The, the framework is history, technology, history is and what is going on now. Oh, history it's absolutely. Is not a framework. What? what is the framework then? Go ahead. What are you a looking framework for? Framework is a method of validation. Yeah, but we could just make an argument. We history could just make the same the argument. It's not a method. We just make the same argument that history. We can just use history for ours. Are you guys like? Are you guys like? Um, what are those classes called? Are you guys philosophy majors? You sound like philosophy majors. No, they're Which super. I love philosophy. philosophy. I love philosophy. It's good. Um, so I, do you guys want to talk about, can I ask a question now? <laughs> I'm getting kind of tired of, okay. So how do you, how do you think that we get to the point where people of a country are holocausted? How do you, what do you think are the events that lead up to a large group of people becoming holocausted? What do you think has to happen in order for that to take place? It's a very De large question. Dehumanization, okay, dehumanization is the main thing that you can yeah. point to. Right, there, are, okay. there are multiple different things that can lead up to it, but one that is like prevalent amongst all of the genocides throughout history is that level of dehumanization. You can't really point to like a few things that happen yeah. within every single uh, uh, genocide. Right. There's a lot of words, and dehumanization is definitely a good one. Um, keep people in a low, fearful state. To And then what else has to happen in order for a large group of people to reach the point of a holocaust like don't you ever wonder like how did this happen like so many jewish people were murdered you never sit back and go wow how did we let this happen what were the lar and this is a very large question and i it's very hard to understand there is no very no one person who just said hey everybody get to the, to the consecration camps that's not how it worked it was slow it was um it was uh, it's complex and we can't point to any one individual. Some person will say, it's just Hitler. That's it. But no, there's a lot of people who worked for Hitler. There's a lot of people in, that German people that agreed with what he had to say. There was a lot of factors that led up to that. So we have to be very careful of the factors, those things that we saw happening then that we're not repeating them again in our future, because we don't want to get to that point where a large group of us were um, killed or murdered or, I shouldn't say that on here. I don't want your slide to get. The thing is, we're nowhere near that though. Here, right? If we're if we're pointing back to like what happened throughout history and allowing that to happen, we look at like the oh. debt that Germany went under, like after World War One, after they lost the World War, right? They were in exorbitant large amounts of debt that led most of their population to be starving, right? Mm -hmm. And generally, that in of itself was used as a message to push people towards more types of populist rhetoric, right? So mm -hmm, leading mm -hmm, out mm -hmm. of like the or leading into like the what was it like the, the 1920s and 1930s, Hitler had like some type of occupation within the Nazi party that allowed for him to like move up within the ranks and yeah, move, like, mm -hmm, his ideological mm -hmm. beliefs through. He was exactly. then at some yeah. point later on um, sent to prison and in prison he wrote like a specific thing called Mein Kampf which was then popularized by people within this party, which then led to him being able to have more of a say within like the Nazi party, right? 
And then they like burned the Reichstag building in order to say that like, oh, we need to take away, this is like way later on in terms of him already being president, already pushed into a specific spot because he had like a lot of say within like the party. And that led to him um, in general uh, being put in a position where he could advocate um, based upon the burning of the Reichstag building to have mm -hmm. emergency powers. So it is the establishment of too many emergency powers that were never mm -hmm. taken away that allowed for him yeah. to seize power to a great enough degree yeah. in which allowed mm -hmm. for um, like the Holocaust to occur and for like broader European expansion to occur as well. Um, but yeah. again, none of those factors have occurred at all within our system. So you would have to draw, draw any type of corollary between what has happened throughout history within like what happened in Nazi Germany to like now in order to substantiate a claim that the Holocaust in of itself is possible given the events of COVID or like um, of people having to wear masks or like getting vaccinated or whatnot, right? And I think that would be a pretty hard, hard like thing to correlate. Oh, yikes. It's a pretty easy thing to correlate. Um, you slowly start to take away people's rights and demoralize them with a bunch of fear rhetoric. Yeah, it's very likely to lead people okay, do it. like a sheep to the side. What rights did we so, lose that like, we haven't gotten we, back? That, yeah, what? outline specifically that any time... We didn't lose any rights, thank God. Yeah, uh, can we justify that any time freedom has been taken away for any period of time that has led to some sort of holocaust occurring? Never, or because mass, you know why? We have a constitution and we have rights here that Wait, so our are military is protecting pudding? us. Are you special pudding then? Special pudding. Pudding? No, this country, uh, this country has a constitution and rights. I'm trying to keep Wait, it Wait, so simple. our rights can't be taken away because we have rights? Because we have a constitution and a military that protects them. Okay, but so guess then what, what they're makes trying you think that we're going to lead wait wait what makes you think that we're going to lead towards a system in which is going to take away of those take away from those rights if we have rights um, established unless, and that they can be taken away due to the constitution yeah unless we willingly give them away which is exactly what you guys are doing unless yeah, so you willingly you show us say that hey we're willingly giving them away in terms of rights that can it's actually, for my like, safety it's for my safety i have gotten three of the things Wait, then once I again, agree. Us, wait, once again, I should be traced up. and controlled on an app. I will download this okay. app and allow you to control my every move. I agree. And to what happened? Away they my stopped rights. doing that once the pandemic was over. And exactly. All the wait, because they had wait, vaccine wait, passports really and they had exactly. contracts. Exactly. They're done doing that. Circle. We just want to circle. Then once again, if us doing these type of things is going to lead to some genocide or Holocaust, justify that. Let no, us... I don't believe that it is. Then Thank God. The this is, I'm actually. Because this is why I'm saying the main topic is why Trump is the greatest president or the I can't see what it says. The nice. best. Anyways, so he is actually protecting our country because of these uh, bad guys. I, I use a lot of big words like that so that people can understand bad guys trying to take away our rights and our freedoms. But we have a military and we have a person in charge, Trump, who is protecting us and making sure he doesn't care about his reputation. Do you think he really cares about his reputation when the, the country is under attack and our freedom could be taken? I could give a rat's ass about my reputation if, if my job is to protect the freedom and the people of my country. I, I, I could care less. Okay, so like we're for protecting freedoms, right? We just don't think that what happened in relation to COVID is showing us that we're leaning towards like a Holocaust or a genocide happening, right? Okay. So we right. wouldn't be okay. for taking people's rights away, but we do think that the rights that we quote unquote lost during the pandemic aren't the things that you should be arguing against in terms of our losing of rights, right? In terms of like well, we safety, didn't lose because those that's rights. genuinely a situation where like that was the real argument. It's not just like some elusive type of type of uh, control mechanism. It's again, this is like genuinely the reason. I mean, people signed up for it, hook, line, and sinker in the very beginning. We all remember. Everybody signed up for it. Very scared. Uh, I should. I got a note on my door that said, hey, we're going to notify anybody in here that has this thing. It was very, everybody was signed up, locked inside, okay? We all signed up to, to do what we were told, which is also 
very and dangerous it, w- wait, territory. Cr- yeah, what, what were we told? Get in your house. Uh, for what reason? Close your shops. What for? To what take reason? away your power. They no, would, no, no, they no, no. What was the actual reason? Oh, what was the actual reason? To take wait, away your wait, rights. Justify that the one. real yeah. reason. The real reason. You guys believe it was because of a a, a virus, and I believe it was to l- take away your rights. Okay, then justify it. Yeah, how come our rights weren't taken away? Because the U.S. military is protecting us. So it was meant to take away our rights, but it didn't work? Yeah, bad guys don't win. Oh, okay. I I just, I don't understand, like, this correlation we're making. Like, when the government uh, passes sort of tyrannic or authoritarian laws, who do you think is the ones that are enforcing these laws? It'd be the police and the military, right? Yeah, they, they're not allowed to do that they're because like, of our Constitution. That's why they call them mandates and not laws. Well, wait, so they literally couldn't be, do it, did, could they? There were relevant. no laws. That wouldn't be relevant because the Constitution... You said was laws. Law. That's incorrect. Wait, wait, really quick, really quick. The, there the were no laws passed. Okay, okay. The Constitution would stop these sort of mandates from being passed in the first place if they're unconstitutional, right? The Constitution wouldn't only prevent them being enforced. The Constitution would uh, like prevent them being passed in the first place. Exactly. Nobody can go to jail because they didn't get a job. Nobody can go to jail because they didn't fall in line. Yeah, we were protected. Oh, wait, but there were there were vaccine and mask mandates and there were like mandates. Yes, not law. That's a very what different word. Mandate is not a law. Mandates you can't take are me to jail. Not laws. Wow. You cannot take me to jail. And that's a very sketchy. If you if you force your citizens Wait, so to do a something, law only a, a speed ticket apparently isn't a law either. And it isn't derived from a law. Wait, can, any, so, can you go to jail for not getting a job or any of that? Yeah. Once again, you're not linking that to how it's not a law, right? We have laws that law. don't deal with you going to jail. Can you go to jail for oh speeding God. five miles per hour above the speed limit? No. Okay. Does that make the okay? So, speed so they want again. Let's go back to boiling the frog. Okay, guys, boiling the frog. First, it starts out as mandates. Then it's cover your face, and then it's um. Thank you. I am smoking hot. Thank you. Then it starts out with guards on everybody's building, forcing them to stay inside and starve. Sound familiar? Did you see what happened to uh, China? Wait, if the if the government forcing them away, guys. To do something, it sounds like a law, right? So it's called time. boiling the, the frogs, frogs guys. Something, and then they're enforcing that law. Can you breathe? Are you are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know, man. It just sounds. I, like I, I'm, I'm doing what the government told me, man. It seems like they passed you a shouldn't. law, and then they're forcing to do something because they're enforcing a law that they passed, right? That's generally how that works. It's called boiling the frogs, kids. How do you think they got those people into a shower? They said, "Hey, get in the get in the train." And then they said, hey, it's just a shower. Oh, wait, can we outline and it wasn't, where that was it? the frogs has led to now in, the, in this country or in any other country? Thank God. And once again, thank God we will remain a free country. Thank God we will not be holocausted. I'm one of those people that does not think that the world is going down. That our government has protected us and we're going to make it through. Our government? It's been a really rough ride. Not government, military. Our military's protected us, and we're going to get through. I, I don't understand. What do you think the military is? Uh, you do understand that the military is is an entity of the state, right? The, the military is a limb of the state, meant to enforce its will, like, domestically and foreignly, right? No, military, the military protects our right. rights and our freedom. Wait, that's Do you understand not that? What Do you understand that wait, that's what their the job time? is? Wait, when was the last time there's been a war where the military was directly protecting our freedoms? You know, it's been really fun talking to you, bros. You know, this guy laughing, wait, the and question. then this guy with the, the watermelon dog hat. Do you guys take anything serious, or do you just personally attack people? And then when a woman leaves, you just say time. misogynistic, sexist comments. When did we say yeah. misogynistic? Oh, watch, and watch me comments. leave, everybody. And then watch how these young men act. Very disrespectful. What? Very bad. There's no way you just did that. What did we say? You're sitting <laughs> here with a mask on, laughing. Is this a, is this an appropriate? Is this 
are you, how do you expect anyone to take your little debate seriously? Or anybody to even want to talk to you when you sit there and laugh at the comments while I'm speaking? You want to know why? Because That's people so rude. do on a daily Wait, basis. Wait, is this the way that you avoided my question? People literally do on a daily basis. I don't feel like talking to, to anybody. Why would I even be here? I don't talk to men like you. I don't talk to people who, who stand, ignore what I'm saying, and laugh behind my back. Do we're not ignoring what you're saying. saying. We're, 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 we're showing the to. hypocrisies in your statements, it would right? Seem to be the That's case. fine. There's a respectful way to do that. There's a respectful so, way to disagree. We've done that in a respectful way. It would seem to be the case that you're ignoring my question, right? That other guy left. What's wrong? He couldn't, like, he couldn't handle the heat? Maybe he has things to do, right? Maybe he has a yeah, life. Yeah, he's busy. Stuff. He has a job. He's an electrician. So he's probably busy. So how many of you guys watch the TV? I don't. Oh, There's a strong wait, correlation answer question, between those who watch the TV and the news every single day and who fall oh, like a sheep to the slaughter. And you know, you know, I don't, neither of us do that. I don't answer, and, answer Josh's you question. Answer I'm glad. Question. I'm really glad that you're on TikTok talking just, to people. You don't understand the what the military is, obviously. The military is the entity used to enforce the state's will domestically and foreignly, mainly foreignly, right? That's because it'd be like the police's job to enforce it domestically. Oh my God, but thank you for, thank you. I had no idea. The state that enforces the state's will like foreignly. So can you justify, like for one, the question I asked you, right? Like when was the yeah. last time that the military directly protected our freedoms? Okay, well, first of all, you don't understand what the word freedom is. You also don't understand what the military even means. You are also very ignorant about the word freedom. You have no understanding or basis or real life experience to have to be a person who has their freedom taken from them. Do you? That would be great. That Go was talk a great to a person in China. Go I talk really, to a person really in China who is under a, a very a tyrannical answer. control. Definitely not my I appreciate your very sarcastic, not not an intelligent question, no depth whatsoever. Oh Just yeah, that's why you refused so to answer. So rude. It, right? it was rude. So your, it was your a rude questions, question. Your questions don't really have any depth. I, I'm just gonna be honest. You guys, yeah, you Josh, guys don't want really to. Josh, holy shit! I, I really think, I, I think she, that was the defeater against Josh. I think Josh has finally <laughs> lost an argument. Well, that was the defeater, yeah. man. Wait, so can you ask that the was question, my intention, though? guys? No, wait, if it's so like, if it's so like, if it's so like uh, narrow and it's so like in depth, shouldn't it be like really easy to answer it? Shouldn't it be so easy to answer? Or do is Wait, all you, you just, do gaslight you the person? Is them? all you do gaslight the person? What? <laughs> do you know what? Wait, 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 is? wait. Yeah, can you define gaslighting for me real quick? Yeah, let's <laughs> fucking. Do yeah, this, what does guys. gaslighting mean? Let's let's fucking go. I'll Google it. Let's go. Wait, wait, no. Do you know it off the top let's of your head? Let's go. I don't. Let's Google it. Let's fucking waste our time with this bullshit. Okay. Gaslighting would be like when I convince you to believe some sort of false reality, right? Yeah, by lying, right? So you have to lie in order to manipulate someone to believe in a specific thing, right? How did we lie? You guys are fantastic. You didn't lie, uh, my bad, but you're very rude and disrespectful. Oh, I wonder where that comes from. Yeah, I wonder. Because I'm never like this. Probably your mom taught you if, to talk you've to ever... this way. Yeah, no, I, if you ever come on my live before, you know that I'm extremely respectful with like every yeah, single Yeah, I mean, person that I liked our conversation. I liked our um, conversations before these But the thing came is, in. but the thing is that's because I have an extremely high tolerance for dealing with this type of stuff because yeah, when me you're too. not going to care. respond to any of the things that I'm saying and when I oh, tell you that you're not none. responding to it, respond say that I'm like gaslighting none. you. Hold up, can I finish. Say that I'm like gaslighting you. I didn't respond to any into, of your like, questions, did I? Absolutely no, not. you didn't. This and then you said that I was really like personally isn't... attacking you when I just said that you weren't responding to them, which is not a personal attack. It's just me describing what you did, right? Cool. It's not because this I didn't conversation... want to accept what you had to say. I listened to everything that you had to say, and I genuinely want to be able to like come to some type of conclusion Whoa. with you. But it's impossible to actually come to any type of conclusion if you're unwilling to actually interact with what the other side is saying, right? And you think that I'm the that one doing that. So I promise you, I'm not the one doing that. To say oh, that it's I so rude for me to use reason and, and logic. I, I apologize. I apologize for trying to be you. intellectual. You know what I really didn't like is that you didn't talk to me at all, uh, Parker. You really did. didn't talk to me at all. No, you didn't. How does it feel? It's frustrating, isn't it? You know, I you didn't, didn't answer any of my questions. You didn't answer any of them, Parker. 
Now this is actually gaslighting. If you actually know, yeah, exactly. if you actually know the like, definition, exactly. this is genuinely gaslighting. Exactly. That's not what I was you're doing saying, though. You're That's saying not what I didn't I'm doing answer though. any of your questions. That's not what like, I'm doing. Let's though. all get over it. I'm sorry that you guys are not intelligent enough to understand or hear the answer that I gave to you. I'm very yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, I, know, I know I'm not intelligent. I, I promise you. See, like if, if you actually know what gaslighting is, you would know that like you've done it significantly. You're doing it right now, hon. What do you mean? I'm, if you actually knew I'm what just gaslighting describing that you were gaslighting. You were literally lying there in order to say like that what I was saying was invalid, right? That's literally gaslighting, man. I literally can define gaslighting for you and show you how it applies to what I just said. Sad. I don't like when discussions turn into this kind of stuff. Like if you don't like you, my you responses, mean, you mean, I don't know you what mean, else to tell you. Okay. If I don't like your responses, fine, I guess, man. You don't have a response to my question. That was the issue. You don't answer my questions either. Uh, I do Parker. answer your Half questions. Half the time you really didn't. Not really. No, not really. Now give me a question I, but I, I didn't know, I answer. Just, give, me, give me one question I didn't answer. A lot. A lot. You're not really hearing what I'm saying. You don't have like Can you name like one the... question I, I didn't uh, answer? Can you name one thing that I didn't address? Yo, the will. Let's go. Can you name one thing that I addressed? Give me one oh. example. Can you give me one example of what I did not answer for you? Yeah, for the military, you didn't jo answer Josh's questions multiple times on the military. You didn't answer any of my questions. In the military the protects government. freedom you didn't and the rights. That's my answer. That's you don't like it? Kick rocks. Wait, 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 wait. You're not going to let me finish either. So I, I can give you, you multiple like times. You don't like my answer? Kick hold, hold, hold. rocks. I, I, gave you, I gave you multiple times in which you didn't actually answer any of my questions so you can't give me mouth. wait you, you can't like you can't I don't can, care. can you give me a single time care. in which i have not answered any of your questions i don't one care. time that's my answer i don't care because you have Do nothing you, you have nothing i don't you're this you is have a nothing. really pointless discussion right now it's pointless it's it's pointless because you're making it pointless because you can't have a productive debate you have your opinions um, you're welcome for you all You have your the, opinion. Uh, you're set. They're never going to change. You're not open to hearing other sides. You're not willing to have a rational discussion. It's already set. You have a sheep mentality, but applied to a different ideology. That's it. Not. And I think we very, very clearly stated that because you have no ability to critically think about your own beliefs and apply any type of oh, rational argument no, to no, no, no. it and critique. Absolutely not. not, not I used all. to be Mormon. I used to be Mormon and I left the religion. I used to be a Bernie Sanders supporter. I left that too. We change and we evolve every single day. I mean, you just adopted new teams. Your your entire mindset of uh, forming your ideological beliefs or coming to truth you change and never you grow changed. And you, evolve. you just adopted a new belief. Uh, absolutely, you didn't, you didn't actually like be more no, productive with your like own ideological beliefs. I, absolutely, you literally just, I changed. Uh, you had the same energy and you put it into something else. That's all you did. Nothing changed. No, I actually was never into politics, and then I got into politics. And you change over your life. You really do. Yeah, it's the Dunning Kruger so, effect. If you like don't you, get you think all of you know your a lot when you first look into it. I don't get any answers from the TV. I already told you multiple times I don't watch the TV. I'm That's not, nothing I'm not to really do with this conversation. Just to you. I'm you're saying to I'm a sheep, too. but I think that we've demonstrated very clearly that you're the actual sheep within this conversation. Because you don't listen to anything I have to say. You don't try to actually formulate any type of rational discussion, right? You just did you get literally come on here to be bad faith in the first place. Did you get three of them? I did absolutely. Then you're a sheep. That doesn't make me a sheep. 100%. That makes me that yes, makes me does. smart because I actually looked at the risk benefit analysis then to determine what is going to make me better off. Right? I disagree. You, you, you didn't even I'm look at it. I you literally looked at some random ass statistics that someone put on Facebook or put on TikTok and you ran with it because you have no actual critical thinking skills. You don't know that. Thank you're you you're you're drawing very illogical conclusions about me and how was that illogical? You called me a sheep. I believe you're a sheep. I We're gave you reasons. That. Did you give me a reason? Uh, you got three backs. Do I need to say more? Wait, wait. Why? More? Why does that? Why does that mean that I'm a sheep? Because. Why do you think I'm a sheep? I don't care. No, no, no. Why does, why does that mean I'm a sheep? Why does that mean I'm a sheep? Why does that mean I'm a sheep? Because you agree to giving away your rights. Under the that's not giving away my rights. If I decided to do it, what right am I giving away? If I decided to do it. Anyways, in 10 years, you're going to remember this conversation. Yes, and, and I'm hope... going to remember how terrible it was. Oh, my gosh. Right. You've inspired me, Parker. I think I'm going to start my own channel and talk more to people. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy yeah, all yeah. of have these fun. Have fun in, Yeah, have, have fun, fun in front of the three people. Have fun and in front of the three people. And don't talk shit I'm listening. Bye. All right. Have a good day. Damn, I just want to know what the purpose of the military was. <laughs> me too, honestly. Fucking freedom. Shit. Bye. Fucking freedom. Freedom! Whoa! Let's go! You don't
If you don't like it, go live in America. North Korea. I'm not gone yet, guys. Yeah. You can't do your oh, shit. yet. Hold it in. Uh, Hold oh, it shit. In. Hold it in. Hey. Hey, if, if, you, if you don't like it here, you then you can go to North Korea. If you think Hold that there's in. one thing I'm wrong with our... Yet. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not yet. Don't start bro-fisting each other. Don't start bro-fisting. Don't do it yet. Hold on to it. I know you're ready to, to, to do it. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, do you have one critique of capitalism? Have you tried Vuvu Zuala? I love capitalism. Bye. Oh. Yo, yo, Christy, what's your normative ethical framework? <laughs> Guys, shut up and go take your philosophy. Can you, can you give me a justification wording. for your, your opinions on Jewish Prudential? No, because I'm Jewish not Prudential. studying that, you fucking idiot. <laughs> You guys yeah, like see, this it is seems what you, you have no like epistemic justifications. You guys like <laughs> to take your big, huge fucking words that nobody fucking cares about because you can't just use rational, intelligent discussion. So you take a big word and you say, "Why don't you describe this word I just said?" And then you just look like a big fucking dickhead. You just look like a big fucking asshole. No, I just it's it's funny that you just call us unintelligent. It's hilarious. And then I don't we, care. we use too big of words because we're unintelligent. Like. <laughs> You know, you can have a lot of knowledge and go to college. And this has nothing to do with having knowledge. I just literally talked about a normative ethical framework. If you look into philosophy for two seconds, you'll know what that is. I'm taking most people don't look courses. into philosophy. Oh, apparently. Wait, not is, how, why is that even important? Why is that even important? Wait, if you why is that, plenty why of what you just courses, asked? That should be extremely easy. Yeah, that was like the base question. If you've guys, taken any philosophy, I graduated. Course. Especially if you've taken an ethics course, so it's a little guys, like I graduated one. with my master's degree ten years ago. What I was your master's your in? Entrepreneurship, MBA. Entrepreneurship. Okay. Yep. Nice. Thank Solid. you. Anyways, have a nice discussion. Try not to be disrespectful, because yeah. it really hurt. It have really makes life. me sad. That you had a nice discussion my, and then you just kind of turned into a douchebag. It was getting, really kind of sad. I'm getting my yeah, master's in gender no, studies and underwater basket weaving. So, and you're going to pay for it because my uh, student loans are going to be canceled. So, mm, They left. We love that. Damn. Damn. My, my, I'm hurt now. I, I think I lost my first debate. Dang. That was the worst L we've taken. Oh, honestly, that was terrible. Oh my gosh, that was worse than that one time I debated Prax Ben.